Hi dear viewers and subscribers, thanks for stopping by once more in my channel. For those who are returning and the new viewers, thank you for coming. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely silver heart. So let's get it. So the first thing you'll be needing is your nylon bag, your bowl, your water, your chuck your scissors, measurement tape, thumb tags or pins or nails, stiffener, your mood, this is for the top, and your cinnamon. Now this cinnamon, what I made use of is one yard of cinnamon. So I measured this and um, and it was 11 inches and I added 3 more inches to make it 14 inches. So the first thing you want to do is cover up your mold. As you remember if you have watched my previous videos, this is to ensure that your mold does not spoil due to water. So you ensure that every place that mold is going to be touching, your cinnamon sorry, is not is covered totally with nylon. The next thing you want to do is use an oil base. You can use baby oil, hair cream, Vaseline. What I'm using right now, though is in a Vaseline container, is Soulmate hair cream. So you want to put it all the way on top and also around the rim where you're going to stop the cinnamon. Now I open up my cinnamon and I'm going to be measuring 14 inches by 14 just exactly what I measured from the mold so 14 by 14 and I'm going to be cutting out three pieces of that remember I said I made use of the whole of the cinnamon because I'm going to also be um, cutting out um, cinnamon loops from it yeah I rather cinnamon spirals from it okay this was not used to make the base but you can use it to make the base you would soon see something about our base as we go along the way so keep watching and learning okay so while you're at it don't forget that when you stay to the very end of most of my videos you do get to have some gifts depending if you're the winner or everybody can be a winner you can tell so ensure you stay till the end of this video and if you have participated in any challenge please do check back in the comment section to know if you won and do ask for your gift okay so the next thing you want to do is mix your stiffener like so not too watery not too thick this is the consistency you want to have okay then you fold your cinnamon that's the way i fold it i would open it up and fold it opposite so that it touches every single part of the cinnamon so i'm going to be doing this for the three pieces that i have cut out remember what i'm molding is the top of the silver heart that you saw in the picture so it's actually a double layer heart it has a fascinator on top of a hat brim now you're going to be spreading them on top of the mold in two different directions when you place one flat facing like a, um, the shape of a square you will place the other one like a rhombus just like that then you place the other one on top like a square now this makes the pattern full when you look at it there are no holes in between and also helps to make it firm so this is how you mold it first of all the top now there was an error with the video an issue with the video so if you want to know how to do this part on top you can check out the link of this particular video which i have already done the link will be up so you check the link of this one so you get to know how you can mold the top part since it has a dent there's a special way how you mold it before you go to the other layer my apologies on the missing video it was corrupted so we move over to the next part which is covering the parts underneath so after you have done the top you just turn underneath like so and we're going to follow the process of north south
ist. And West. Hope you joined me in saying that this time around it was a bit slow. Okay, the next thing you grab from all the parts from between those two thumbnails that you have put, straighten it up as best as you can to make sure that when you turn over it is smooth. This is how you ensure that what you mold comes out looking smooth at all edges. Not all mold can come out smooth, but most of them can, especially the round ones okay it's those that are not round that are different shapes that don't come out straight so that's how we're going to be doing at all those various parts of each of the thumbnails so keep watching and learning So we do that all the way around. So let's jump to the next step. So this is how it is. Okay, so the next thing you do after you have left it out in the sun to dry, when it's dry, which will take like two days, depending on the weather, you take out the top thumbnails first of all. Now, this is what I used for the brim. Okay? I have taken off everything that is in that is on top of the designs and this is how it is now I'm going to remove it now if you don't have a hat like that you can mold the brim if you want me to do a video of how to mold the brim please do write in the comment section please show us how to mold the brim I was given this so I had this to work with and so this is what I did so this would also show you how you can remold your brim so we're putting cream as usual on top of the mold covering the mold with nylon the next thing you want to do is put your stiffener on top of the place you still want to make use of i want to make use of just the brim of the hat so i'm putting it all around so keep watching and learning So once that's done, the next thing you do is to put your thumb tag, north, south, east and west, the same way you do the same way. Now this was not molded with my mold, it's, I didn't mold this hat, the hat you saw, it wasn't me that molded it, so it's not the same size but you can negotiate around the sizes. So I did my north, south, east and west and started putting thumb tags in between you don't need to um, you can space it this time around so i'll put it all the way around and then also you need to put at the top area it's just the brim that you need so at that area and when you're putting it you're going to be stretching it with your hand like so the hand did you see what i did like that and you put your thumb tags all the way around so this is how it appeared so i brought it out of the sun it took just a day not a full day and I'm going to be placing it on top like so. So the first thing you need to do is to cut out this part of the hat. If you molded a full one to like so the brim, this is what you would do. Because you will need to cut out that part. Do you understand? So it's actually sort of the same thing. Just that it wouldn't have popped up as it popped off here. Everything would be flat. So if you're gaining value from this tutorial so far why not pause this video and click the subscribe button so you gain more value for more videos that will be uploaded thank you okay so the next thing we do is take a measurement on where we want to stop um, fascinator on top and I measured it in just 2.5 so that we'll be able to place it midpoint of the brim so I'm going to be measuring 2.5 all around and that's 2.5 from the um, what do you call it from this bias that is round the cinnamon bias okay so I'm going to be measuring all the way around and using my chalk to give that marking so 
that's what I'm doing now. So you either take it as 2 or you measure 2.5 depending. So I'm going to be doing that all the way around. So keep watching and learn. Okay, so I have. Hmm. So, the next thing you do is you need to glue the um, fascinator that you have made, the ring. So, I'm going to be putting uhu gum and gluing them together. You know, on normal occasion, what you would have done would be to put a rod inside. But since this is a heart on top of a heart or a fascinator on top of a heart, you don't need to do that. So, I have sealed it with uhu gum. And the next thing I'm going to do is notch the brim. Now this is what is called notching. Can you see what I'm doing? Just cutting it in bits of like two, two inches all the way down to that marking that I gave. All right, the next thing you want to do is put your ubu gum all the way around on those notches to where the chalk is, the marking. Then you put your hat on top, turn it around and begin to press down. Take it one step after the other and press down and ensure it sticks properly and firmly. Okay? So keep watching and learning. So we're through with that. The next thing we do is take our needle and thread and sew it at the edge there. Now you want to make sure when you're sewing it on the top part, you take the thread close to the next thread in the cinnamon and that your thread is also a matching thread. Once you do that, the thread will not be visible on top. It would be barely visible. Let me use that word. So keep watching and learn. Hmm, that's a long one, okay. Let's take a short break. So I'd like to inform you, especially those who are just joining my channel for the first time, if you have not gone to the Venn Craft Academy, you really need to get in there because we have so much more that you can learn there. And currently we have nine classes, right? No, eight classes are available on tobans, fascinators, brooches, um, hand fan, and much more. So you want to check the description of this video and you will see the Vent Craft Academy reception link. You click on it and you join us. We also have free trainings there to on like um, things that we can write about and view and see we also discuss there people also send pictures of things that they want to be made for them there like just this evening i had to do a private class for someone who needed a training on a particular brooch and other people were invited to join so a lot much more is happening there and um, the, the interaction is on the go so if you want to join me there do check the description of this video as i said before so let's get back to today's training 
okay back to our tutorial now the next thing you need to do is spray the whole hat so the color comes out glittering and same color remember there were two different hats so I used my silver spray and I'm spraying both the inside and the outside you spray it in the air so that it doesn't choke you it chokes me anyway I don't know whether I knew that person is irritated by it so now I'm placing the elastic band I'm attaching it to the hand with my needle and thread. Now, what I did was that I cut out two inches from the elastic band. It's those ones that are normally joined together. So I noticed if you cut out two inches, it tends to be firmer when anybody wears it. Whether it's a child, an adult, a teenager, it tends to be firm. So I've already sewn one part and I'm sewing the other. The main thing when you're sewing your elastic band, you ensure that if you wear it on a mannequin head on your head it doesn't stick out it just lies down on the head firmly and goes round so keep watching and learning okay so now to the next phase now we're going to be making use of this is our heart can you see how it's looking sprayed and shining and glittering now these are our flower trimmings that we're going to be using to design it and our cinnamon spirals. Now, if you want to know how to make those cinnamon spirals, you want to ask for Fascinator Class 3 in the Ventcraft Academy. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is take your flower trimmings and put your B6000 all over the edges. You don't necessarily need to put it in the middle, just around the edges like you can see me doing it. Okay? Now once you're done with that, you don't need to do all two at the same time. You can start sticking just a reasonable quantity that you know one, one side will start drying and you start placing them. So I started placing them and I noticed that it's not turning around very well. So what I did was I cut them into pieces. I decided to cut them one by one so that it would curve very well now when you're cutting you need to ensure that it's giving you the right pattern at the edges so there's some places you would have to trim out sorry about the video that is missing there so you cut and you'll be doing it one by one so keep watching and learn So I'm going to be doing this all the way around. Then the next thing you want to do is take your bias and cover those places you sewed. Okay, you can see they are showing. So I'm using my bias and I'm going to cover it all the way around. I've already done some for them. Then the next thing you want to do is take your spirals and begin to make a pattern on top. So watch and see how I do that.
please do take note that all my DIY videos I'm working on putting on Amazon links so those of you outside the country or even within the country can shop from them also we have a DIY kit and telegram group where we arrange to get materials millinery materials for those both outside and inside the country so you can find that in the description of this video and other videos i don't know whether this video will be ready by now depending on when you're watching it but all that is being worked upon so please do be patient with me thank you So the next thing you want to do is cover up all the the um, threads that are showing where you joined the spirals. So I just cut out a piece from the flower trimmings and I'm going to use my P6000. I'm opening it up the hole so that more gum can come out. And if you leave that pin, it comes out very small, tiny. So but when you bring out the pin head inside the B6000 it comes out in full so I'm going to open it up and put like so alright I just had two places where threads were, sh were showing so can you see it? yeah so I just covered it up that way with the flower trimmings Then the next thing I did, remember you the notches also showed where they stopped but the bias just covered the thread. So what I did was to use those same flower trimmings and cover up all the notches so it looks lovely in the eyes. So keep watching and learning. So that's how I made this gorgeous looking silver heart. Now for staying with me till the very end, this is your question. To win, to attend for free our new upcoming class, Brooch Class 4, answer this question correctly. But you also must be the first to answer it correctly. That's why you really need to click that bell button for notification. So once a video of mine pops up, you see it and you get to be the first to win. Okay, so this is your question. In the brim heart that was used for the down of this double heart, silver heart, did was a millinery wire used at the rim? Was a millinery heart wire used at the rim? of the heart. Do write in the comment section yes or no 
the millinery hat wire was used or not and then you be allowed to know if you were the winner so before I go do please check this video the just click the video up above there so that you get to learn how to mold the same mold that was used on top with pad and a size knowing how to use it with pad just in case you didn't know how to mold it the top part in this video since that was corrupted you also get to see it in this video so till we meet again in my next video is goodbye and god bless